It is time once again for the Oh Wow Moment brought to you by the Gloria and Roger Jones Children's Center for Science and Technology. And joining me today is my friend Audra. Hi. Audra Carlson is the education manager over at the, at the center. And Audra, we always do fun and exciting things. And I want to say hello and good morning to my friend Eleanor, who enjoyed the, the smoky CO2 that we oh, had last that was week, a lot of the dry fun. eye, that so she great. enjoyed it. Yeah. Good, and good. I told her, she says, you seem to have so much fun. I said, it's Audra, it ain't me, it's Audra. Oh, but stop I it. I love it. So what are we doing today, girl? Well, today we are experimenting with the pH scale. And what that means is you've heard of acids, you've heard mm -hmm. of bases, right? Mm -hmm. If something's really low on the pH scale, it's considered an acid. Okay. That's numbers less than seven. Numbers higher than seven are considered a base. Okay. And, and there's a really cool way uh, through nature that we can test to see if something's an acid or a base. Okay. And um, I have here some red cabbage. All right. All right. This has a chemical called anthocyanin. 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 We can also call it a um, flavin. Flavin. Okay. And it's what makes it red. It's also in blackberries, apple skins, things okay. like that, that give it the, the reddish that or color. purplish color. Okay. This is uh, very sensitive to changes in pH level. So what happens is it changes color when those substances that are acids or based are introduced to it. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to take one cabbage leaf, mm -hmm. all right, and we're going to take two cups of distilled water. We want to all make right. sure we use distilled water. All right. Because um, you want regular, me to yeah, thank you. Okay. Regular city water uh, that goes through your pipes is going to have a pH level other than Already seven. Already in it, okay. Yes, but yes. distilled does not. Mm -hmm. Okay. There all we right. Go. Distilled so distilled water. is going to be much closer to the uh, baseline, which is the number seven. Okay. Wonder right. what would happen if we didn't put on that lid and we turned it on. That <laughs> would call for that goggles. Would okay. That would call for All goggles. Right. Well, we will turn All it right. on. All okay. Right. So we're just going to let that blend up real good. Okay. All right. All right. And now we're going to take that and put it through a strainer. Like this. Okay. Okay. And, and we're I want to straining out the, the lettuce leaves. Yeah, uh, lettuce, all the, the big cabbage leaves. The chunks here. Okay. So if you can see all these uh, chunks we got here. Yes, I do. All right. All right. So that's what we wanted out of that. We just want the liquid. Okay. So now we've got this here. And okay. this is two things of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour some of these into the glasses. And see, it's got a nice purple color. It's beautiful. Isn't it pretty? It's very colorful. I'm sure it doesn't taste that great, though. Oh, but. you know, I used to drink cabbage water. You did? Yeah, yeah. It's it's is like it, what's left over in the pot, in the pot once oh, your mom has has made uh, a, a head of cabbage. Oh, I'm sorry. In the in the hood, we call it pot liquor. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like what's left over. You drink it, and it's just as good. Okay, there I'm, I'm go. revealing some things that possibly I shouldn't reveal, okay. but pot liquor is good for the soul. <laughs> okay, what do we All do right. with this cabbage so this, water? This is our indicator solution. So now we've got some other things here that we can test. We can uh, put in some salt, some baking soda. I got an Alka-Seltzer tablet. Okay. We love those. Bobbling over. Yeah, we want to try putting some of that. Okay. Just put them in different ones and we'll, okay. and we'll see what... what as, as, the, as the director says, three, put the whole tablet in? Yeah, why not? Go ahead. Let's go for it. Look at that. Nice da, da, da. bubbles. Okay. And then I'm going to add some some cleaner to one. Yeah. So okay. We'll Does it matter here. how much? Ooh. Um, just, oh, right. look at that. See the oh, color change changed color. there? Oh, it changed color, yeah. Right away. That changed Immediately. to a nice Immediately. It got blue. very dark. And then Put here some we have Coke. some vinegar. Oh, Coca-Cola. Yes, Coca -Cola. look at that. Oh, wait. Oh, that changed too. Okay. Wow. And okay, we got baking soda. I gotta do some baking okay. soda. Okay. Oh, some peroxide. I've been dying to do that one. Peroxide? Whoa, yeah. For hair? Just add it to any no, no, of no, them? No, 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 no. One of the clear ones. There one of you the go. Clear ones? Yeah. What's gonna happen? Okay. What's happening? Nothing. Wait, it doesn't That's look like boring. anything happened with that. Oh, look at it's the baking not, soda. Oh, the baking soda. Okay. Look at that. So we got a nice oh, blue. Oh, it's color. blue. Mm -hmm. So the change in colors, as is, is, is Karen tells me two minutes, the change in colors indicates the higher or lower of pH value. Yes, okay. yes. Higher pH level, like the uh, baking soda, mm -hmm. is going to turn a blue or green color. Okay. If I were to have, uh, like, toilet uh, cleaner, mm -hmm. that has lye in it. That would turn a bright green color. Wow. Okay, okay. but that's a very 
very strong base. We don't. We didn't want to deal with that strong. Chemical. Well, the peroxide didn't seem the to. The peroxide oh, yeah, turned a little okay. bit. Okay. A little bit. Um, and this, this is the Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Changed Cola, a little see, bit. It turned a little bit red. Mm -hmm. And that signifies that there's an acid. Okay. In there. And, and this, I thought, was the alka more, seltzer. Yeah, but that didn't. Okay. But that's got acid and base in it. So what happens when an acid and a base neutralize each other? Mm -hmm. They cancel one another out. They cancel, yeah, they, they seek to neutralize each other, All cancel right. each other out, and the result is going to be salt and water. Wow. So it looks like our um, Alka-Seltzer tablets have just have enough yeah. acid and base to neutralize each other. Well, this so. was a very fun experiment. Now, cool. when we do this and, and we, you know, figure out pHs, this helps us to know about what the acidity and mm -hmm. base is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.